the big focus for us is student-centred learning. We're wanting our students to understand and we're using whatever tools we can. Group one has to hold their pens with their lips like this. We use manipulatives, we use hands-on activities, we use real situations, we use whatever we can to engage those students and keep their focus and incorporate what they bring into the classroom as well. The student achievement within the mathematics faculty had not been as strong as we would have liked. Michelle came in as the driver for that change. She used the, uh, the New Zealand curriculum document as the catalyst to actually bring about that change and I think the effect that she has had on her colleagues, that she surrounded herself with an awesome team, and I think that teamwork has actually um, been the result of some outstanding shifts in student achievement and also in the way students are actually learning. In pairs, I want you to sort the data. I remember the first year of high school, maths was notes, 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 right, 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 but now it's it's let's have a group discussion, let's see why is this the way, why is this not the way. To me it feels like I'm involved with the class. The things I do actually have like a meaning, it's not just me sitting down writing line after line, it's giving entertainment value to mess. We spend a lot of time looking at what do we want from our students, not just mathematically, but as people, and then broke that down into, well then how do we not only give them the knowledge to do that, but also the thinking skills needed to make that happen. You can have the opportunity to express your take on it and then the teacher will sort of tailor that to what you need for the assessment and there's a lot more freedom, I suppose, to yeah, develop your own thinking. Y equals X. Who can give me Y equals X? What does that look like? I had a concern in year 12 particularly that students were not getting an understanding and a link between how graphs were written as a, an equation and how they occur. I guess it just came across me one day that I really needed to get them up out of their seats having a go at it. And it evolved into a dance. And what does y equals zero mean? This one. Excellent, nice. What I find is that the connections between the equation and the shape of the graph are important when they're starting to work with it. You know, they get stuck and I'll say, but just dance it. You can look at all our results for NCEA and we do do well with merit and excellence endorsements, but it's more than just the academic outcomes that we're working with our students on. We're trying to develop an enjoyment for a subject, a curiosity in our subject, and it's really great to see when students contact you from university that they're saying, we did this last year, thank you so much, it's real, I can see the applications and having that connection with the real world.